Can you hear in the distance, in the mist? The bells which announce the return of Resident Evil to celebrate its 25 years. Here is the direct sequel to the misadventures of Ethane Winter on PC, PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X and S, but also on our good old PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. In the company of this dear Ethane, gone to find his daughter Rose, kidnapped by a sect of a small village lost in the depths of Eastern Europe. It must have jumped out at you already. Resident Evil Village is awfully gorgeous, whether you play on PC, PlayStation 5, or Xbox Series X. And the game remains fluid, even with ray tracing activated, which improves lighting precision. The definition in 4K exposes very detailed textures. The artistic direction, which is inspired by fantastic works, ensures a top-notch atmosphere. Look at the design of the monsters, the facial animations, the rendering of the panoramas, or the behavior of the village bosses. If you have known Resident Evil 7, Tell yourself that this episode is a bit the same, except that Dan is here, in the land of werewolves and vampires. We therefore find ourselves in a horrific FPS, where you have to aim at the heads of your opponents to do maximum damage. If trouble cannot be avoided, run away when possible. The footprints of an Evil 4 resident are numerous, such as the traveling merchant, or the possibility of pushing furniture against doors in order to barricade oneself. The game is oriented towards action. We can feel it with a much more flexible inventory, where the many weapons to find, the clashes are numerous. Fortunately, the fights are more interesting than those of Resident Evil 7 thanks to the types of enemies a little more varied. The Resident Evil saga has never shown by the accuracy of its scenario, or the intelligence of the lines of its protagonists. For once, we can say that Village is digging in the wake of its elders by exposing a story that is certainly captivating to follow, but full of improbabilities and clichés. Some surprising passages are above the rest and ensure very good moments of anguish. We regret some repetitions compared to the Seven. The fact that Dumitrescu finally replaces Mr. X, and the fact that some revelations do not really make things clearer. We would have liked more effort. The game is generous in its content and varied in the situations it offers. The player is made to explore certain areas to find hidden treasures. Obviously, the game remains linear most of the time, with 10 hours of play as standard. The title takes us around the country and meets various impressive bosses. But the structure, almost identical to that of the Seven, prevents this episode from reaching new heights. Capcom had the good idea to bring lots of items to unlock once the game is over. Ranging from new weapons to concept art through mercenary mode. Village does not have virtual reality, unlike its predecessor, and it's a shame as VR has brought a big plus to immersion. A work that should give us the backbone must necessarily have an excellent sound environment. Tell me, what is going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. This is the case here, with discreet music that adequately covers the action. The game, offered in several languages, is subtitled too. Capcom's game does not shine with its originality. If you were expecting some sort of super efficient mix of Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 7, you shouldn't be disappointed. It's pretty, rich in content, and with a great vibe. It is a satisfying conclusion to the adventures of Ethane Winters. For all these reasons, we give it a score of 17 out of 20. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job!